Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back for another race of the Fire Red Leaf Green Any Percent Tournament. Um, I am Swiftaloo, and I am also joined today by... Hey everyone, I'm Mockwing. Here to enjoy some fun Fire Red Leaf Grease... No, Fire Red Leaf Green content. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, because uh, today we got a race between Pokeguy, Kadir, and Dumas... Hopefully I pronounced that right. I don't know if I did. <laughs> um, but I know that this is going to be a great race. All these fantastic runners. Um, yeah, it should definitely be a good one. Uh, a lot of these races in the first round have been uh, a lot closer, I think, than people have been expecting. And I think the same story could be said here. Yeah. Um... I really hope he does feel better, because it, it, a lot of people have been getting sick lately, but yeah. Um... Oh yeah, shout out Truly, who was supposed yeah. to be doing commentary today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I read something in the chat no, to <laughs> mess that up. But <laughs> um, These turtles look quite good, from what I see. Yeah, all, all of these turtles are really good, stat-wise. All of them have 31 special attack, which is... Uh, definitely something you like to see, given that you have a lot of time to prepare. Why not just go for perfect? Yeah, which makes sense. Um, obviously can't edit the turtles, have to hit a normal one, so just try to go for the best one you really can. And all these seem very solid. Um, I know obviously you guys look for special attack. Uh, is there anything else that you would really like to see out of your stats that uh, would be good for us to know about, or myself, because I don't know enough about turtle stats. <laughs> yeah, all good. So, uh, the next most important stat is probably speed. Uh, there's two places normally where that will come up, uh, depending on the route you do. Sometimes you need a little bit of extra speed to outspeed Rapidash, uh, during the Blaine Gym fight, and then, uh, more speed on Sabrina to possibly outspeed Alexam. And actually, we're getting going, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I believe Dumes and Kadir are playing on emulator. Uh, Pokeguy is playing on console, so there is the penalty of emulator to wait about 20 seconds here, I believe, right? Or is it 26? I think it's, yeah, 25. 25, okay. Yeah, since emulator isn't completely accurate, um, gotta take the penalty, but... That's what makes the race a little bit more fair. Um, I'm sure, though, like, even... I've just seen some, like, incredible people at Emulator, even with, like, the penalty, they just absolutely blow the race out of the water, but, you know. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of great EMU runners that have come to Fire Red Leaf Green speedrunning over the past couple of years. It kind of blew up, uh, I think, ever since, like, the last tourney. Or, I mean, the first tourney. Yeah. Okay, no, Ananan comes to mind as well, uh, being the race winner last year. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, I would say, in my opinion, he's the favorite. But <laughs> the there's, there's still so many good runners in this tournament. It's hard to say, like, who will win. Oh, absolutely. I know there was, like, a bunch of strong people that entered this year, so when I was looking at the list and everything... I know there's even been a few upsets as well. It just goes to show, like, how much uh, these runners have really practiced and improved. Yeah, definitely. So Pokeguy here is uh, resetting right after Rival picks Bulbasaur. It's just to load the Squirtle that you see uh, with the IVs right below their screens. Uh, sometimes you can go for trying to hit Manip in the race, although it can definitely be slow if you miss it. It's kind of risky. Yeah. Because, well, you not only have to wait, but also just being a 1 in 60 frame trick, as well as it's like with the NPC movement. I'm sure that makes it not fun, not to mention it could just be not a good of a turtle compared to your uh, saved backup turtle. Yeah, exactly. You, you put in the time to prepare for it, so might as well just take that Squirtle. Yeah, for sure. Um, you might end up getting not a not as good of a turtle 
if you're not careful. Or maybe just a shiny, you know, it would be funny to see that. A shiny in a race would be hilarious. <laughs> so, Poke um, Guy getting a clean rival one. Uh, only thing that went wrong was last turn crit, but what can you do? Yeah, unfortunately. I just have to play around RNG, as that is Pokemon in general. Nice, everyone's getting a crit here, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> nice. Famous. So, I must ask, uh, what would you say is the best nature for turtles? Because I see modest, I see rash, and I see mild. I think from what I understood as of last time was like rash is generally the better one you want. As yeah. Makes rock a little bit better as well. Yeah, so over yeah. like the course of most of the run, most of the time you take damage, it's going to be from a physical move, which just means having more defense is a little bit better. So mm -hmm. that's why you'd want to go with Rash over Mild. Modest is also pretty good. The only thing is uh, with the lower attack stat in the beginning, uh, you have to tail whip rival one, and then sometimes your route one catching and like Sammy can get a little bit more dangerous because you have to take more turns to do damage. Uh, I assumed it was because of uh, Mega Kick or something. Also, amazing miss there. Oh yeah, <laughs> that too. You know, just just love the greatest move in the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I assume Rash is generally well. Anything usually from what I see, any like minus special defense nature seem to be like the best for Pokemon runs in general, just because like you encounter usually physical moves, especially early game. Like, there's just tackle and stuff like that. Um, I know if you're running, like, a more physical oriented one, you usually want Naughty, so... It makes sense. Um, but it's interesting to see the Mild here. Um, although it's pretty high defense for a Mild, so... Hopefully it's fine. Although the HP looks a little, uh... A little low. Yeah, HP's a little, a little sus. Uh, the stats are still pretty good on it. Uh... One advantage to taking a mild, for sure, is the Misty fight, which is the second gym leader. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on your defense and special defense combination, the Starmie is going to be favored to either use Swift against you, or it can use Water Pulse. And Water Pulse has a 20% chance to confuse, which is not that high, but uh, it can definitely turn the fight into a nightmare if it happens and you're not prepared. Oh boy, do I know confusion all too well. <laughs> um, just having to deal with a coin flip is uh, not fun. Yeah, to say the least. Yeah, as uh, the chat is pointing out, it's usually just 100% for the AI, but uh, not for you. Very good. See a Pidgey. Uh. All right, so the Weedle tutorial, uh, the old guy, a classic, remains from the first generation of the games. The only 
special thing that might happen on this little cutscene is the Weedle can sometimes be shiny. <laughs> just the classic one in 8000. Um, although in the original, he just doesn't catch it. Oh yeah, honestly, it'd be... It'd be faster, <laughs> actually, if it just broke out. <laughs> and he was like, oh well. I guess I have nothing to teach. Take this... Oh yeah, so actually, since we have people entering forests, I think something cool to talk about would be 1% encounters. And that's anytime you enter a new area, or after a trainer battle, you have a set amount of encounter tiles that are dictated to be like a 1% chance to be checked if you're even going to get an encounter on that tile. Uh, for right. forest, I believe it's 7 tiles where you get it for free, where you're just very likely to not see one. Oh, it differs depending on the area? Yeah, so it's seven in forest. Everything before forest, like just the regular grass, is six tiles. And I think once they get into cave areas, it's eight. Huh, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, I just, I knew that there was like the 1% where you have the um, lower, the very low chance of getting that encounter with the 1%. Um, but I didn't know that that extends like those tiles extend depending on the area you in you you are in uh I can't speak apparently all good uh yeah sometimes it can affect like how you want to walk in some of these scenarios like depending on where you get your encounter or just where you want to spray your repel later hey Kadir starting Sammy I believe Kadir save everyone should be saving for Sammy can wait to see uh, someone YOLO Sammy now. Please no, it's oh, not worth Poke it. Oh, Poke Guy! Poke Guy and, and Dumi's, I think, are both YOLOing. Ooh. I see Kadir not getting poison there. That is quite unfortunate. Poison would be very useful, I know, for some Torin management um, for Brock. Especially like the first trainer. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay, the... level seven. <laughs> That's why. Level seven is definitely helpful for this fight. I'll tell you. Uh, you, there's two ways to do this fight. You can either tail up once and tackle five times, or if you got bubble beforehand, uh, you just spam bubble five times or less. Sometimes if you get torrent. Uh, and tackle being 95% really just. It shows you how good of a move it is, easily, within the first 10-11 to 11 minutes of this run. God, it's so funny. It looks like Dumas is going to be the only one with some poison here, uh, for some good HP management. Poke guy going for the grass, uh, I guess, wants some more XP? Yeah, so when you go into this grass, it could be to, one, manipulate your HP to something that's slightly better for Brock, but it could also be ah. to catch something that you didn't catch earlier. But okay, I know yeah, he so he's just skipping earlier, after the hit. So, yeah. And I know he already, like, uh, KO'd something, so I was a little confused. Yeah, you can... It's... weird, but definitely better to walk in with better health for Brock's gym than just, like, YOLOing it with bad health, because... At Pokeguy's health, I believe, if he just got two scratches from Sandshrew, which was... Uh, it could happen. Uh, and without Torrent, it wasn't a guaranteed two-shot. It's just an easy death. Ukadir getting a really good bubble. Ah. Unfortunate scratch. <laughs> Save him before... Um... I already forgot his name. His name's not Sammy, it's something else. This is it? Liam. Liam, yeah. I, uh... I know that this fight is just... Absolutely, yeah. There's nothing wrong with this fight. It's 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 great. There's nothing uh, there's nothing wrong at all. I mean, it could work exactly like Pokeguy's screen, where it, just, uh, it was a clean three-turn fight. Very, very nice. Let's see what happens on Dumas' screen with the Sandshrew here. Especially for being mild, that's a little scary, but... 
This is some pretty high HP, so I'm sure we'll be able to take at least the one scratch safely. Yeah, so Dumas specifically, I think, healed at 6 HP. Uh, and that's to... Wow, another unlucky scratch. Uh, that was to manipulate a Torrent so he could have it for this Geodude and this Sandshrew. And then he would also have it for Brock's Geodude had he not gotten Scratch and then would have leveled out right when he had to face Onyx. Kadir making it... Oh, wait, no. That was only just the Geodude. I was off. Oh, actually, that's interesting. Doomies is potioning before the Brock fight instead of in it. Hey, Poke guy going for like a range, Poke getting it. Yeah, he he got through. Wow, nice. Oh, uh, and you got a beautiful crit there. Uh, you love to see it. This is the only time where I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll take that crit. That's that's okay. <laughs> uh, Onyx is a nine and sixteen range, even after you get into Torrent. It's uh, it can be a nightmare. You can get on streaks where you're just like, you're getting multiple runs and you're not hitting it. And sometimes it's life or death. Uh, but for Pokegai and Kadir, both making it through very clean fights and very good times. Yeah, Kadir able to keep Torrent out of here, though, compared to Pokegai, who unfortunately is one point out of Torrent. Yeah, the Torrent, or carrying Torrent out of this gym is... A pretty important if if you want to go fast, you know, like a speed run. But well, uh, we are technically if you... doing a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how fast we're going after this. Uh, I mean, I'm sure uh... Kadir will need to play catch up here with Poke Guy. Poke Guy's a little bit ahead, so hopefully the torrent saves some time to help him catch up there. Yeah, Poke Guy had a great gym. He uh, came in behind Kadir and leaving ahead. I'm I'm pretty sure Pokeguy didn't save for Brock, at least. Maybe save for Liam, but I'm not sure. I did not? Well, actually, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, Pokeguy has a cutter, but Kadir still yet to get a cutter here. So I know that's gonna ch uh, chop a little bit of time, unfortunately. Wait, Poke Guy bought seven Pokeballs? <laughs> Chat informing us. Hmm. Interesting. Like Poke Guy is uh, not wanting that pointed out right now. Gotta make sure I get a bird. That is so true. We actually saw a, a racer earlier this round get five breakouts. On a se on, on a seventy eight percent catch. Ah. Oh, and here comes how Torrent's gonna save time here. That Caterpie was a two shot for Poke Guy, but a one shot for Kadir. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice these all these bugs either have their damaging move, which is Tackle or Poison Sting, or String Shot, and you really want to see a damaging move if you don't have Torrent, because uh, otherwise you're just like they could just be wasting your time, and then you still go into the next fight not having what you need. Okay, barely in Torin here, which is nice. Got a nice tackle from the caterpillar there. Very neck and neck here. Yeah, so Kadir did a one stall on uh, the last Caterpie to try and take damage. And I'm pretty sure he didn't need it unless he gets a plus three here. But. Uh, his damage allows him to get torn for this fight and the next one, while Pokeguy is gonna level out, uh, right before the last trainer. Doomies is also trying to stall for Torrent, but is unfortunately not seeing a lot of damaging moves. Uh, hopefully this Caterpillar gives it. Nope. Just a lovely string shot. Oh. It's all- it's oops all string shots! It's like silly string. <laughs> oops all blank is one of my favorite categories of joke. <laughs> Don't think I know that one. It's 
kind of confusing, fighting all bug catchers. For a second, I thought they were all in the same fight, even though I am literally watching the race. It's okay. Uh, I keep getting confused, too. I can at least take a deer bogey guy are on the same fight, at least I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Okay, out of torrent here. We a bird here for Kadir. Oh, nice. Very good. Could even trade for ducks. <laughs> Could do it. Some time loss, but you know, memes are forever. <laughs> So also there, uh, both Pokeguy and Kadir encountered Spearows. Pokeguy had to tackle his because... Oh, I... Well... Okay, okay I'll, I'll start talking about Kadir. Okay, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. okay. <laughs> Came yeah, back. Hey, everything is fine, everything is fine. Uh, Pokeguy right, tackled his bird. Issues. Exactly. Uh, they they got different leveled birds, and Bubble uh, can sometimes kill Spiro if it's not level 7. So Kadir got a Bubble, which is 100% accurate, while Pokeguy had to risk another tackle. The sync on these two is crazy. Ooh, Pokeguy opting to fight uh, the Spug Catcher here. Uh, can you explain? Uh, mostly to me? Why? <laughs> yeah, so... I actually have to double-check his HP, because I'm not sure if I would have fought Bugcatcher here. Oh, well, you know what? I think he's... I think he's okay. So, uh, Bugcatcher is... Uh... I don't... It, it's movement-wise the fastest fight you can take. Uh, and you don't get any super effective text from water gunning these Caterpie. The only thing you need to make sure is you have Torrent for 16 because you get it before the last poke, but Poke Guy is fine in this scenario. Uh, but it's a completely safe fight, because none of them can hit you, and you always one-shot them, and you're always faster. Oh, very nice. I see Dumas got a bird as well as Spiro there. Very nice, and everyone already has their second pokes. Uh, not Kadir. Oh yeah, he has no catches. I forgot. No cutter yet. I see Kadir fought the uh, hiker here. So Matt asking if Kadir is just losing time doing Marcos. So, oh, Kadir is also black screened. Uh, we'll <laughs> we'll get that feedback soon. He's back. Okay, nice. Uh, so Marcos is uh, essentially the same fight as Bugcatcher, except you're getting super effective text on all of those pokes. So that loses you a bit of time. The only extra thing you gain from it is it's a lot more experience compared to any of the other fights that you can take in Mount Moon. So much so that he'll likely go to level 17 uh, right after this next rocket fight, which could set up a scenario where you candy early for a different version of the final fight in Mount Moon. Yeah, we're gonna see the... what I feel is like a pretty big difference here with Pokeguy being a war turtle uh, compared to Kadir being a small little squirtle. I know this fight is just absolutely notorious in Gen 1 and I know like there's even... there was a route for doing like a safe straw where you evolve early, so... Oh, okay, oh my never goodness, mind. Doom uses. Is... Oh wow. Yeah, Doomy's on on the edge there. <laughs> let's let's hope he gets range. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, the the fight that Kadir and Pokeguy are doing could be a nightmare if you don't have Torrent, mainly because of this second poke, the Zubat. Okay, didn't have to worry about it this time, but the Zubat does know uh, Supersonic, which uh, if you're playing safe and you grabbed a berry before entering Mount Moon and you blow it on the Zubat, always feels so terrible. Oh. Hmm. 
I'm so okay, glad Charge wasn't raised with special defense. Yeah. That scientist fight can get so annoying because there's so many things that can go wrong. The Grimer never dies in one hit unless you crit, and it was poison gas and disable. The Voltorb you fight next, you're almost always speed tied with, and it's a 9 and 16 range to get one shot. And then the final poke is still also a range. That is tough. Yeah, it's like... Normally, it, like, everything seems fine, but to, like, Ooh. string together everything that has to go right on that fight is actually... Yeah, difficult. but it looks like Pokeguy and Kadir made it out, uh... Pretty... Pretty nicely from that fight, it looked like. It, it didn't look that bad. It was pretty clean. Pokeguy yeah, Pokeguy pretty... had a very clean Mount Moon. Yeah, it looked like they both did, from what I could see, but... Um, I see it's now time for Mega Kick, and Dumas about to fight the uh, nerd himself here. Yeah, the super nerd. Self-titled. <laughs> it's literally any racer. <laughs> Just knowing all these strats. You're having to take the grass here since uh, he did not get a cutter earlier, but it looks like he got one as first encounter, which is good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so there is a small, small chance that tackle could have killed that rat. Let me see if I can find it. Oh dear. Yeah, so it is anywhere from, or actually from his attack, it was probably closer to like. 8 to 10% chance to die from that tackle. But there's like literally no better option. Yeah, obviously can't bubble or water gun. Well, definitely not water gun. See Poke Guy getting, er, getting too misty here. Hopefully, Starmie is not a troll. And do miss Bets Teach Mega Kick himself. Not seeing confusion from Star Use Water Pulse is always a sigh of relief. <laughs> I bet there's one water pulse down. Up oh, a swift, very nice. Oh, Pokeguy really? going for Ooh. a bite range. I think that's 11 and 16. Oh, and gets it. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty risky. You normally, uh, or at least for me, I usually don't go for it unless I have a slightly better bite roll than that. Because if you hit into heal range, it, it's slightly slower, it heals. And then even afterward, your bites aren't guaranteed to two shot again. But yeah, Pokeguy yeah. definitely on a run. Making it very hard for the uh, racers to catch up. Gotta pull ahead while you can. See how this fight goes for Kadir. Hopefully nothing trolley with the Starmie. Ooh, Star you using Water Pulse. Oh, uh, turn one, Fusion. that's not yeah. what you want to see. Oh, another one. Okay. Just like clenching every single time. Every single time. <laughs> Anytime you see a move that could confuse you, it's just a huge clench moment. It's like, oh my god, no, 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 no. All right, let's do this. All right. Well, that's a pretty good roll. Oh, going for it, it looks like. Oh yeah, that is... That was... This should be... Oh no! Oh, there's the no way. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Very nice. Can't say for sure if that was 14 and 16. I can't remember what the next range over is for that bite. But Ooh, definitely that was flinching. good enough. Oh, Love missed the mega it. kick. No. Hate to see it. The sleep powder. No! Fun Maybe fact, Mega Kick and Sleep Powder both have the same accuracy. Very fun. Didn't miss the second Mega Kick, just kind of went for it. Uh, Dumas 
fighting the Starmie here too. Going for the range as well. This one doesn't look as good oh. with the roll there. Oh, but Gets got it? it looks like. Wow! Yeah. I can't believe the racers went three for three. Well, it is eleven and sixteen, so. The, so that I gave the range after the first bite for Poke Guy, just in general to two shot the Starmie is forty two percent. Oh wow. That's pretty. That's pretty wild that they all got it then. Very yeah, nice, that's though. that's extremely like. What a thing to happen, of course. Stars aligned for all these racers. Kadir on rival now. Okay, guy missed kick and got slept on his fight, but still fine because hit the next one. Uh, Kadir yeah, getting nice. not a good quick attack has to potion. Oh, hit itself. Nice. Oh no. Okay, well it hit itself again. So it didn't break through and quick attack. Okay, guy carrying two HP. I wonder if he heals before the Oddish that's coming up. <laughs> Lose losing to the first Oddish Ooh. on bridge is not the way you want to go. Sleep powder for uh, the deer. A flinch on Pidgeotto for Dumas. Very nice. Seed. Oh. Oh, no! kick! Oh, and another Wait, it was, it was Leech Seed of Aid! I missed it! And Poison Powder! What's going on? Oh, no! These oh, fights are all over the place! Miss. There's no way! Oh, and the... Oh, no! Kadir oh, and no. Doomy's rival fights falling apart at the seams. Probably would've... Kadir for his life. Oh no, I probably would have okay. swapped there. Yeah. Doomies is in a very, very scary situation. Uh, it With the poison, it's so slow, you might even consider just resetting. But it's it's so... This fight is just so difficult. Saved. You're put in a position where you're basically always uh, in a chance to kick for your life. Oh, he's gonna have to really hit the kick of his life next turn. Oh god. All eyes on Doomist right now to hit this kick. One HP in a dream. No! no! Oh no! Oh, did he save? Bridge rival, bridge rivaling. Okay, he did. Okay, cool. Yeah, not what you want to see happen, obviously, but there's there's not much you can do. You kind of just have to roll with the punches with what you get on this fight. There's no other roll way around with the it. Roll kicks in this case. Haha, <laughs> true. Crying on the inside, as you say it. <laughs> I know it's not the move rolling kick, but it's close enough. Hopefully can hit this kick, uh, this time. Oh, good flinch. Got the kick, nice. alright, good, good. Finally able to pull through this rival fight. For those thinking that Pokeguy has taken, uh, just a runaway lead at this point. There is another rival fight coming up, and I'm telling you, it is basically just as bad. <laughs> Seems rival 2 is universally bad in all Pokemon games, and then you have rival 3 in this game, and it just sucks. Just There's so many rival fights in this game that just suck straight up. Like, rival 1 sucks, rival 2 sucks, rival 3 sucks. When it doesn't not suck. Bang asking if Pokeguy does late surge, to which he gets a reply of no. Hmm. We'll see if that uh, decision changes by the time we actually do get to surge. I remember last year at some point I was like 50 50 on flip flopping routes. If I was like, if I got out to a lead like Pokeguy has here, you could really honestly just switch routes and probably be fine, like with the lead he has. I yeah. think it would still just carry over, even with the time loss on the route. Yeah. 
I'm curious if anyone's gonna be doing late surge because of how big of a lead Poke Guy has here. I think Kadir had been practicing with late surge. Uh oh actually wait, we could have we could have known this. I should have been paying attention. Late Surge does a different pewter shop. Oh. Late Surge shopping. All right, I will trust truly on this one. Okay, yeah. Late Surge shopping. Uh, you sell an extra TM in the pewter shop, and then you just buy, like, uh, all your appels, uh, the paralyzed heals to everything you need for the rest of the route, and then you skip a shop that Poke Guy is going to end up doing on his route once you enter Vermilion. Oh, nice Yolo Dan pass. Dan is uh, that little annoying uh, youngster that Poke Guy passed. There's uh, different setups to pass him. You can essentially, you always kind of have to wait for his reaction, especially if he's looking at you. Uh, but if once he looks away, you just walk. You're 1 in 16 to get caught. If he's not looking at in your direction when you end the previous fight, it's 1 in 16 to get caught. Uh, and then the other options are you do a start flash or you do something to check to see if he's looking your way. And if he isn't, then you do a a very quick like walk to run to walk again to run. I don't even know what to call it. It's just the Dan pass. <laughs> Got all Ekans on the screen. Oh yeah. Completely different fights, but all Ekans. Wait a minute. That's a Pecha Berry. Uh, Pecha Berry is the poison heal one. Yeah. I have no idea what that's going to be used for, but there seems to be uh, some uh, some insider knowledge that I'm not aware of that people in the chat are. So for the Petra Berry, the safety strategy for it would just be to throw it on before you fight Koga. So that way you can't die to a Sludge Poison. Ah. Yeah, because almost always you're going to answer that fight at an HP where... If you see that combo, you get the move and you get the poison, then you're gonna die to the poison tick. So just save and... God, what's sludge again? Is it 30% to poison, I think? Uh, Something I would around say that there? sounds about right. It's, it's definitely pretty high, or at least it feels high. I mean, that's how it goes with the AI, right? If, it's, if it can get it, it will get it. Bang saying 30, and I'm just going to rightfully declare that I was right. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's definitely not uncommon to see uh, sludge poison poison deaths on Koga. Okay, guy with a what I would split at for a thirty six thirteen bill, uh, and that's uh, quite a crazy time for a race. This is. This is crazy pace, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it I'm seems pretty... like Pokeguy just keeps pulling ahead and ahead and ahead, making that gap very hard to close uh, between Kadir and Pokeguy there. No joke, I think my last any percent PB attempt that got past Bill had a worse Bill time than Pokeguy just got. Wow. It's that race luck, you know? I would know. True. I've my my race PB for a game is better than my actual PB, and it's kind of funny. Stuff like that is funny. There's there's a few runners for Fire Red Leaf Green where that's the case. Pickle comes to mind, and I think Chippy, who won the race yesterday, also has a better race PB than actual PB in this game. It's always funny when that happens. It also kind of sucks, because it's like... Well, for games like this, you can't exactly submit it to the boards. Um, it's funny. Yeah. That's where, like, sometimes 
Like, in friendly races, people will try and go for Manip if they think they can beat their actual PB. Seem to have been mostly clean fights uh, from these racers uh, since the rival, the faded yeah, rival, uh, another rival fight about to come up soon, so... Rival really just snatched the souls of Kadir and Dumas, and they're just floating on through the rest of the route. <laughs> I would say more so Dumas. Kadir seems to have gotten Speaking of floating, it, okay. actually, look at Kadir. Oh, wait, no. Huh? I, I might have said it too late. The Clefairy. We're, we're going to look at Dumas when it happens. I'll watch the Clefairy right, right, going right. into the teleporter, yeah. Ornberry there. I wish I could say I, I purposely timed that wording correctly, but I just happened to get lucky. Kind of like what these racers need to do. <laughs> Ooh, a mega kick miss. Oof. Fringe. That's two. Wait a minute. Biting? At 24 out of 72? Okay, guy. The math skills. So, for the record, that uh, Camper Jeff's Raticate, which Pokeguy was just fighting, can be one shot if you have Torrent uh, and you use Water Pulse, but otherwise you have to kick. Alright, I'm here to watch this uh, Clefairy. Yeah, this, this will be funny. Speaking of floating. It just glides right in. <laughs> It's almost guys, like a safety safety. cable. Very smart. Uh -huh, These rival right. fights are pretty terrible. Yeah, you, it's definitely these are the fights that you have to save for in the early game. Even if you're, even if you want to play risky, dying to these fights lose so much time. And I, I recently had a race that died to this fight. It spawns you all the way back in Cerulean, and you have to run back to the boat. Ooh, sand attack. Not great. Having to swap Oof, here. Yeah. Not much you can do when that happens. Because you really don't want to... Unless you really want to sit there and risk uh, just missing. Although, you're already having to hit a mega kick. It's a, you probably don't want to do that. Yeah. One Actually, so one of the benefits of the route that Pokeguy is doing is that you normally have lower HP going into this fight which makes it less likely to see Sand Attack compared to Ooh, the fight Kadir is getting. Oh, why? Badness. Why? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. oh, healing! 75 is a lie. Wow, Kadir with a safety move I've never seen before. An extra awakening. <laughs> All the way past I mean, Diglett Tunnel. I believe he did burn through a lot of awakenings. Yeah, the the rival two fight was definitely bad. I I just didn't even know that was an option. I didn't even know it existed. Okay, Poke guy's struggling here. It, yeah, he. That's, it was a range I, I, miss, must have been. Yeah. That range miss was not likely for Poke guy. You're pulling very close now. You would disable. It's fine. Okay, so wow. Uh Poke Guy had a ninety-nine point twenty two percent range to knock out with bite plus kick. Wow. Is less than one percent for that to have not killed. So that's that's what double mineral. 
Yeah, I, I actually think it had to be literally that. Wow. Just absolutely incredible. <laughs> Yeah, this this is why the boat rival fight is not good. What do you mean? It's uh, it sounds like it's a really fun time. You just love to get rocked by the boat. A good one. <laughs> so Kadir leading kick here and hits. Already a huge jump over Poke Guy and gets poison powder, which is like. A tiny bit slow, but much, much better than, than the alternative, actually. I mean, yeah, I don't want to waste that precious awakening now. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, oh, it always happens like that. You, pre you prepare for ultimate safety, you get that awakening, and now you're probably not going to see sleep powder the rest of the run. <laughs> Yeah, Kadir's fight here was very clean. Uh, like, the poison doesn't even matter since uh, with his route, he actually wants to manipulate a lower HP going into... Uh, what route is that? Like, route 6 or something? Route 8? The that one leading to Rock right. Tunnel. Yeah. yeah. The one that's to the right of Cerulean. Yeah, so since Kadir's not going to be fighting Surge, he'll have lower experience. So he wants Torrent to make up for that difference in power. Hmm. I wonder what Dumas is gonna do here. At least the poison makes it uh, easy to manipulate your HP for that. So I hope. I, I guess like getting poison powder wasn't that bad. Yeah, definitely not bad at all. Like. Most of the time, you'll get slept and then hit with Vine Whip, which is, like, not bad. But sometimes you don't see the Vine Whip, and then that's when things really start going bad. Because you usually see Leech Seed instead. Yeah, the Leech Seed just... Oh. It's so slow. It's slow in literally any Pokemon run. Okay, guys, swapping his Person Berry for a Citrus Berry and saving. Doesn't look like a good place for that can. I don't know where it was, but it looks like it was. Yeah. Oh, well, got it. Second try. Nice. Yeah, second try. Not too bad. The definitely a four-way can right next to a spinner is not what you want to see. But luckily, no, finding it quickly. All. I love uh, gym puzzles based purely on RNG. Love it. Is that a range? Kadir to kill taking it court? safely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another problem with early surge. That is a 13 Ooh. and 16 range. That's okay, at tough. least he didn't miss twice. Doing this making it through his rival fight. Oh, Dumas is actually Ooh. also doing early surge. And Poke Guy getting two double teams here, missing the first water pulse, missing the second water pulse. This is, this is still Three winnable. Double teams. Hits the third water pulse. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ah. no. Oh. Yeah, no, he, he saw us to potion, surely. Oh, he's swapping, okay. Yeah. I, there's Sometimes you can do a setup where you heal with something small like an Auron Berry or a Potion because it's going to quick attack you or something, and then you can just heal with Super after. Yeah. Uh, but not really in a good spot there for either of those. Now needing to hopefully hit this Water Pulse, otherwise it's a uh, reset. Yeah. Another oh, double Oh no. Oh dear. This isn't gonna kill unless it's it crits. It's the water pulse. Oh. 
Oh, the oh. Crit hit. Oh. oh. Dragging it out just for a kill shot after a minute and a half. This is, is classic very surge. Tough. Kid, you're oh, it looks not like having Dumas a good time is on also Alicia. Also doing early surge. Yeah, with that death, Dumas could definitely catch up. Surge is not a fight where you're guaranteed to win at all. No. Got the range on the Voltorb this time, at least. Hopefully, a cleaner fight on Surge here from Poke Guy. See what this Raichu does. Yeah, Kadir's missing a, a ton of kicks. Oh dear, no. Uh, having to bite on Alicia oh. is also not what you want to see. Okay. Oh, going for a okay. mega kick. Oh, hit the it. mega kick. Wow. Nice. 50, 56% is clearly better than 75 Yeah, it's that fight is not great just because, like, in Pokeguy's situation there, without any damage from the Voltorb, the second Water Pulse isn't guaranteed to kill, so you just you have to YOLO the Mega Kick through one double team usually. That is tough. Just displaying why there are some of the racers go for, uh, Late surge there, and it looks like Dumas got the first Tricans there, which is nice. Yeah, that's a good boost, and going straight into the fight. Yeah, although I think had a lot of trouble finding the first can, unfortunately. RNG cans. Need an what's emote the, for that, apparently. What's the missed trash can text? It was like, nope, nothing but- or like, only trash here. Yeah. <laughs> Need Nemo that says, hey, the electric locks reset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kadir taking... I think he's going to be grabbing Cherry Berry. Okay, yeah. Oh, he is. Do you miss hitting the first water pulse here? Oh, no. Kadir. <laughs> oh. Kadir cutting down two oh. trees. A, a real lumberjack. He's missing the second... The, the mega kick. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, I think can potion from here. Ah, uh, never mind. Just gonna swap. So yeah, Kadir had to cut down a second tree there because uh, that that's the normal tree most people cut to get into a rock tunnel, and that one has a super potion hidden in the wall, right after you cut it, which is uh, like a a must grab for late surgers because you didn't do a shop in Vermilion and get super potions. No confusion from Slowpoke, at least. We got hitting that medic. No oh, way. Oh, Doom is dying the surge! Oh. Basically a replay of Pokeguy's fight. Oh no! Forgot to hit the switch! I'm guessing uh, might be some nerves. Oh no, not the mega kick troll. Yeah, this these two splits back to back are like almost some type of sick joke. Sur the surge fight, as you can see, is just straight up bad. And then you go straight into another split where you have to hit five kicks. Kadir saving before Martha, which is one of those kicks where- or one of those fights where you have to use kicks. This is a terrible fight. Let's see how this, uh, Raichu goes for Dumas this time as well. Oh, oh Raichu okay. became confused! confused. Uh, that's actually oh. great. It, it's a free turn. Oh, nice. it's the kick! Let's go! Very nice. And it looks like Kadir getting through the Oddish 
Uh, I think she's a Bulbasaur too, though. Yeah. Okay, good. Hitting kick, very, very nice. nice. Kadir from that HP was, I I think, could have likely tanked the Vine Whip, but would have been dead to a Razor Leaf, and it's just random AI. You might see those two moves. You might see Sleep Powder. You might see Poison Powder. Yeah, I know that Oddish can be super troll, like both of those Pokemon. At least I'm used to it being a troll in red. <laughs> yeah, another thing Kadir had to uh, fight that first Oddish and get the kill that way. Uh, on Pokeguy and Doomy's route, you are an extra level for that Oddish. Uh, and with higher attack, you can just Oko it with a kick, but... With late surge, the experience difference, you don't have anywhere near enough power to get it. Also another thing, Doomies is hit his kick after confusing the Raichu, so the Raichu never got any damage in on Doomies, which isn't ideal since you want to have you want to have torrent if you can for like the giovanni fight that's coming up in about like 20 minutes uh but on the other hand it's at least very very safe for this split and it's a split where like you can get poisoned you can take those grass damaging moves from bulbasaur you should never know what could happen and then even on the geo fight too yeah i know like just, there's a lot of mega kicks just coming up from the split, so just a lot of chances to miss and get hit or get damage you really didn't want. Just is absolutely wonderful. Nice growl from that slowpoke. It's funny. Very aggressive. I'm scared of it, honestly. I mean, just look at it. It's just standing there. It's menacing. Menacingly. Here comes the Mega Kick. Oh, good. Okay, can we get at least one good Alicia fight out of these three? I'll pit the kick on the Oddish for Martha. Alright, we need both of these kicks for these. Oh, good. Oh, Very okay. nice. And, oh, Pokeguy getting through Martha with no problem. And Doomus with a clean Alicia. The dream. Yeah, very nice. Hitting both kicks without any sort of just nothing. No, not a care in the world. Can be feel very safe. And a clean run to bike, too. Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised to see such clean run to bikes from these runners. I usually, like, anytime I see people run this game, they're so good at it, I'm just like, oh my goodness. Kadir doing the other pass in Rock Tunnel. Uh, did a run to walk there. That by, uh, the scientist can be passed either with a run to walk or with a run to bike. Uh, and there's some weird like audio properties depending on how you exit the room after that pass. <laughs> oh yeah, with the, the sound glitch, or not glitch, sorry, delay, like just yeah. the lag. Yeah. I know that exists in a few Pokemon games as well. It's always really funny. <laughs> just have to not hop on the bike because of audio lag, making it slower. Yeah. There's... I... Oh, actually, Kadir got caught by this trainer. There's another audio thing Ooh. you can do where you hop off the bike before talking to this girl. Ah, uh, Kadir gets a clean exit, though. Honestly, getting, getting a good exit out of Rock Tunnel where you're like not hitting any of the rocks and you're just going straight down to the exit. It's harder than it than it actually like seems, e even with the visual cue. Oh, I bet. I mean, navigating this place 
just pitch black is pretty tough. I know, like, just because with Gen 5, there's like a place in the end of the Victory Road where it's just pitch black and it's pretty hard to navigate through that room thanks to all the rocks. Oh, it's definitely wait. not easy. Yeah, I think, like, I swear I've seen that run before. I can't remember the name of the cave, though. It's on Victory Road. It's, like, almost to the end. It's, like, second to last cave. Ah, uh, okay. Gamer Rich. The guy Kadir is fighting, who, no surprise, has a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, no gambler. <laughs> Gamer Rich. Yeah, us gamers are super rich, you know. Just absolutely super loaded that, with cash. That's why we're bald, have beards, and dress in robes. This is... Sepokia had a pretty big lead, uh, like, after Rival 2. Uh, but with the route differences, it's a little bit harder to tell, like, who has the lead here. But it's, like, after what happened on Surge, I'd say it's pretty fairly close between Kadir and Pokeguy still. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, we miss missing that mega kick there. Luckily, Bulbasaur misses the Sleep Powder. Hopefully hits this one. No! Oh, man. Oh... See? No you miss Elixir early, is. too, which is... Yeah, not Ooh. great for the rest of his kicks. Okay. Took a little Amazing. bit of damage. <laughs> Almost nice HP there. Speaking of nice HP, Kadir has pretty decent HP for uh, the rest of Hideout. With Late Surge, you have some ranges. On some of the pokes, but if you're in torrent, then those are they just disappear. Is it possible to keep that HP or that torrent HP after evolving, or is it still too high? Uh, I think for Kadir, it's probably a little bit too high. Or actually, twenty six looks... HP it IV. Looks a it looks high, close. But... Yeah, I can't really tell. I always get thrown off because I'm like, wow, this HP looks good. And then I like, it gets time to candy it's and I'm like, so oh yeah, I'm, I'm about to gain seven or eight HP. <laughs> I don't know, that looks pretty low. If I had a guess, it would probably be like, just barely not torrent by like an HP or two. Yeah, that looks about right. Got another gamer. Oh, that is just gamer. It's not gambler. But he's supposed to be a gambler. Yeah, he should be oh. a gambler. <laughs> American values. America's embrace gambling, actually. Semi. <laughs> Gambling is bad. We all Pokemon. We all speed run Pokemon. We're always gambling when it comes to speed running Pokemon. Like, <laughs> yeah, gambling's bad. Let's let's do a prediction and and see what chat thinks. Let's spend those <laughs> points. Not your money. You know how much those games cost. They aren't cheap. Ah, uh, leader gamer, smart. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you guys catching up very closely to Kadir here. <laughs> Why would you make this a prediction? How does this work? <laughs> This is great. How do we, how do we decide? I, I love that it's wins. a prediction instead of a poll. This is just like this is just like America. The people get to decide. 
Like, who wins? It should have just been yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Oh my god, that's so many on no. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon runners, no. This this is a hideout underneath a casino. <laughs> Underground PSR is just the casino. Ooh, got it pretty close. And it looks like Kadir's about to fight Giovanni here. I forget what level uh, War Turtle evolves. Is it 33 or is it 36? So oh, it's 36. It yeah. Okay. For late surge, there's uh, the candy that you that is placed right before Vermilion. Uh, the normal world record route, the one that Poke Guy is doing, you use that candy right away to get to 27 before the rival fight, make it a little bit better. Uh, but with late surge, you save that candy for now, where you candy three times to get Blastoise. Got an almost nice amount of points on the no prediction, by the way. Also, from what it looked like, I don't think it uh, that's going to be Torrent kept there. But who knows? I could be wrong. You could see a fake out, and then it's it's basically Torrent. That's true. Nice points on the no prediction there. It does make no seem kind of like a better answer. <laughs> Just objectively, I mean. Not sure if I should put anything on the prediction to sway it one way or another. Ooh, the confusion from Kangaskhan, and it hit itself. I feel like that's not the most ideal. Probably want to get hit from this Kangaskhan. Ooh, okay. Umis is paralyzed on what I assume is the last Audition Ooh. Rock Tunnel. And not healing it, so I assume that means he's gone through all his para-heals, which is very disparaging. And Kadir is through. Very nice. Oh no, do this. <laughs> the random AI is really messing with Dumas here. No. So Kadir is going to be doing uh, some things uh, that you would normally do before you leave. Uh, Celadon, and then he's gonna go fight Surge. And it's funny because Late Surge does everything in the opposite order of what you would do it for the early Surge route. Wow, look at those numbers. <laughs> we have some uh, memers in the community, it looks like. Oh my goodness, it is just tied. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no! Yes is winning! So, looks like Kadir is buying some extra items. Whoa, uh last minute snipe on no! Oh, no way! <laughs> Sounds like, uh, no, it is not ga bad to gamble. Alright, time to make everyone play the rest of the tournament on a ROM where it says gambler instead of gamer. <laughs> we won. Uh... <laughs> So 
anyways, about this race, you know. <laughs> yeah, this race, it's going great. It's going. It's, it's going actually really well. like it's. It's still pretty close. It is, yeah. See the spite. Nice. Hail whip. Blech. Okay, Poke Guy playing smart. Goes for bite turn two. If you get knocked into torrent after turn one, uh, normally you would water pulse, water pulse if you just started in torrent. But you could water pulse, bite, torrent, water pulse to also kill. And that's what you would want to do ideally since you could possibly flinch the Geodude. Or the. Why did I say Geodude? <laughs> Geodude. Scam. I was thinking yeah. Giovanni and then I was like, that, that's also wrong. Giovanni is a Geodude, so makes sense. That is true. Kadir, now on to the cans of Destiny. Let's see how this goes. That is a lot of... Nope, just trash. Yeah, I think Pokey is the only one I saw, like, find the first can quite early. The only fortunate thing was it was a four can check. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It always comes out to something like that. That's why surge cans are just, on average, always bad. No kidding. Okay, Dumas is grabbing the rare candy early. I'm not sure if that's by an error or if it's because he's doing pulse route, but I think we'll see if he does a menu before the next fight. Wait, Kadir resetting. Oh yeah, wait a minute, Cans. I'm... <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Why is he resetting? No, Kadir, you're still in this. <laughs> Kadir is in a nice spot here since he walked into the gym with Torrent, so he can just straight up Torrent Water Pulse this Raichu away. And not have to worry about any wacky fight like Poke Guy or Very nice. Saw. Yeah. The lovely advantages of late surge, you just don't have to deal with some random stuff on this fight. It was having a little bit of trouble grabbing the key. It's just like me. <laughs> just like me just for like... real. <laughs> I was about to say, you beat me to it. <laughs> Alright, Kadir setting up HP and the rest of this menu before Self Rival, which is the fight that... Wait, why did I say Self Rival? Tower Rival. The one that Pokeguy is currently on. Yeah, it looks like Pokeguy is still ahead. Oh, Pokeguy did spec strats and went for the bite range. I, I don't even know if he expect three times. Ooh. Okay, not getting crit by Gyarados. That's all he needed. Nobody crits the Gyarados. Yeah, Kadir not far behind at all. Just starting the fight while Poke Guys just nearing the end. Yeah, hot on his tail. So we're gonna see some different strats from Kadir here. Kadir's going for X attack strats. Gets uh okay, I think that crit was okay because he saw sand. Okay, yeah, perfectly fine. So, Kadir is doing a strat where 
Uh, fun fact, there is a 1% chance for things to go wrong. Gets through the, the most dangerous part. Mega Kick, that 75% golden move after an X accuracy is still not 100% as it is due to rounding only a 99. <laughs> Clearly gotta uh, do the double X X strat. Might be worth. <laughs> yeah, maybe Dying on this fight bit, is also uh, not great. Casual extra thousand dollars you just kind of throw to the wind. I literally always forget that X accuracies are the most expensive X item you They're, can get. Yeah, they are very expensive. They were super cheap in Gen One, and they figured it out. They figured it out that it was a little too good. I know how to get them will make it more expensive. And you can't use it for horn drill anymore. Horn drill hacks. <laughs> how do we make our easy Pokemon game harder? Anybody said Iron Mon? <laughs> yeah? The resets are the same. Always in the lab. Alright. Dewey's is fighting Giovanni, which is the most high stakes fight on currently on the screen. Everything else is getting one shot. Uh, has pretty high HP. Would love to see Mega Punches, multiples of them, crits, tail whips into Mega Punch crits. Anything. Not sure if this kills. Okay. Ah. Mm, not a lot of damage there. Quite a yeah, not not the best situation. Uh, I, ideally, you'd want something around like in the 40s or like barely in the 50s to go into the rival fight. Uh, just so that way it's easier to get it to Torrent for Koga. Uh, but that's going to be a little bit difficult. Dumas, he'll probably have to stall on like multiple things to get his HP to where he wants it. Yeah. But hopefully, um, maybe he gets some good moves rather than some stally moves. Ivysaur does have Razor Leaf at this point, which is high, high crit rate. Love that one in eight. It's also a 95% move, Kek W. Love that uh, disguise tackle. Why couldn't it just be magical leaf? It'd be so cool. All right, both Pokeyai and Kadir on the top floor of tower. Uh, they're both walking up straight center because uh, it was found to be faster than talking to any of these people. They always, after the fight, they always exit the room like dead center and they and they walk down. So it's just not worth it to go and talk to them since they're walking towards the exit anyway when they go to talk to you to start the fight. I believe that one was a Worcester find. Hmm. And the only reason I know that is because I think it was said in like a previous Taz entry of this game by MK Dasher, who originally wasn't doing that movement and then saw Worcester's runs and was like, oh yeah, this is actually faster. <laughs> 
Yeah, it kind of sucks you can't actually run in this building. <laughs> can't run in any buildings until, like, what, Gen 4 or something? Yeah, well, that was literally one of my favorite quality of life additions in Gen 4, being able to run in buildings. All right, Poke Guy getting flute and will now be onto the Koga split. Uh, still has to do some things that Kadir hasn't done, like getting the T, and later on, Poke Guy will also have to give the T to the guard. So Kadir has about like 25 ish seconds uh, of time saved just from having done that already, which makes it still even closer between the two. Ooh. Like the spicy race. Kadir, I... I think that HP is just barely okay for Kadir. The, the quick attack wasn't necessarily great, but because on his route he'll be candying twice, and with his defense, he should be fine enough to be out of range while he'll tank moves on Koga. Koga guy. Wow. I was a little late there, but that pass on the bikers was something. Very, very <laughs> quick reactions. None of it was unsafe, but just, like, so scary when you have to react like that. Oh yeah, no, I mean, every time I see that, I just my god, I cannot keep up with something like that, but I know Pokeguy is just very, very good at reacting. Just absolutely incredible, runner. Some would call it natural talent. <laughs> Did Pokeguy do... You're getting past the bikers as well. Very nice. You know, cycling road. Very nice to have all these, like, fantastic items just, like, hidden on the ground. There's a rare yeah. candy, there's a max elixir. I know there's a max revive somewhere on like one of the other three paths. Oh really? That's, that's yeah. pretty funny. I just really want to litter the road with a bunch of really useful things. The gamer biked down the road and dropped some things out of his pocket. Seems somewhat unsafe to do, but uh, I guess <laughs> uh, you know. Get your hand rid <laughs> ridden over by a bike if you're not careful. Oh yeah, for those that just... I don't know. Just funny, because some people, like, don't know this, and I guess you wouldn't really know unless you tried it. Uh, like, when you're on Cycling Road, once you're past a certain, like, landline, it, the momentum just starts sending you downward. But if you hold down, you can go even faster, like you're riding with the momentum. I knew that one. There, there are still people <laughs> that, even to this day, like run fire at Leaf Green and they're like, wait. And of course, the, the most famous example of that is none other than the world record holder of this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I don't know the ins and outs of this game, but I did I did know that one. I did hear about that one. I'm like, uh, that's funny. Pokeguy has 
actually fantastic HP for this gym fight. He should... Uh, he's not in range to die to Sludge Poison from Muck, and he's gonna level up before Weezing and guarantee that he doesn't die from a Sludge from Weezing either. Kadir, like I said, HP is a little bit iffy. It's on the lower side, but should still be fine with the extra levels. Hopefully. Yeah, no save from Pokeguy. Pokeguy, I believe, still has his revive, so it's not over if he happens to get knocked out, but it'd be a great opportunity for Kadir and Doomies to catch up. Minimize. Yeah, that's it. Hey, hit through. It's funny, because Raichu always double teams, and people always miss on Raichu. And Gengar always double teams, and people always miss on Gengar. But Muck minimizes, and I hardly ever see people miss the second surf after minimize. That's really funny considering uh the fact it's uh minus two. Well yeah, it's like the the, well, the plus two evasion. Yeah. The classic toxic PSR coming through with that toxic. Honestly, <laughs> pretty good luck for Poke Guy there. He like a benefit to his HP and the defensive IV. Weezing definitely did not see the kill with Sludge, uh, and just like threw out a random Toxic, which is an automatic win with the fight that Pokeguy was going for. Yeah, very, very nice. Now about to head into Mansion here, and Kadir getting the Smuck Minimize 2 hopefully hits this. Good. Alright, so Kadir is likely going to go for an 11 and 16 Surf range on this Weezing, which is one of the best benefits from doing this route. Oh, gets it. Very, nice. very nice. Time saved. I what's I'm the range guy run for his on... money right now? Yeah, I think it's so. Kadir's range was eleven and sixteen, and I think world record route is six and sixteen, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, guy grabbing Carbos, which will be useful later for Sabrina. Oh yeah, actually, it's kind of funny. They they all have thirty speed exactly. Yeah, I always like it when uh routes for Pokemon incorporate using vitamins and stuff. Just like the small difference from those EVs. Just I don't know. It's, vitamins it's are really god cool items. Yeah, I mean, it's just some very clever routing. So I'm always really impressed. Right, are we going to see a shiny Snorlax on Dumas' screen? <laughs> I've literally only seen one person get shiny Snorlax ever. Same. There didn't seem to be a shiny Snorlax. Do you think uh, someone will get a shiny in the mansion, though? In mansion? It would... <laughs> be a little unlikely, but... It could happen. I've seen... Well, that was a round two race, but I know Randall got a shiny and Mansion wants a shiny wheezing. It's pretty funny. Ooh, 
Ooh, quiz questions. My favorite. Ready for Tombstoney? Of course, my favorite, my all-time favorite move. <laughs> I was convinced that it was just overpowered, and so they had to take it out of the game as a kid. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I kind of, you know, I get it. Happens. Got the best move, Blizzard. Just Mega Kick 2.0. That's what it feels like, anyways. Definitely. There's <laughs> like. And you don't even take that many unboosted Blizzards either, and it's still a bad move. Oh, yeah, no, I don't doubt that. I mean, 70%, god. And if Tackle's a bad move, then, uh, yeah, Blizzard has it coming. Yeah, ho hopefully none of these racers end up missing their exact Blizzards. I'm sure... I'm sure some of them are even considering double X-Ox on some fights. Who do you think would be most likely to do that? I... I mean, I would say Pokegeist just because he has the lead, but I'm actually not sure if he shopped four extra ones. I feel uh, so like... I would say Kadir might also do it. Yeah, I could see Kadir. I don't think I could see Pokegeist, because considering how Pokegeist has been playing this entire time... Yeah, that's the other reason. But still, with if you have a lead, like if you get to the E4 and you happen to have it for like Lance, that is like the one place where like even people who like to play risky, it's like you still have to hit four of these or sometimes five. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be pretty close to seeing everyone in a different gym. <laughs> We're getting close to the end here. Yeah, there's definitely not that much left to go. Yeah, it's now or never for these right, uh, runners. See if they can pull out ahead in the race. Absolutely, Poke guy. Want wanting to check out that tree really quick. <laughs> See, Kadir appears like a minute behind Pokeguy as of right now, but Pokeguy is going to have to do a complete like big menu that Kadir has essentially already done because he can't eat early and already top Blizzard. Right, right. I see... Dumas getting poisoned here. E. This does not look like ideal HP for. Um, yeah, Koga. for Koga. This I, if he has it, I mean, an Auron would be perfect. Hopefully, he hasn't used one before this. Yeah, I saw Kadir, um, not Kadir, sorry, Dumas did not enter this fight with Torrent. Yeah, not, uh, entering the gym without Torrent is never great. You have to use an X spec on both fights if you enter both without Torrent. And, like, if you bought extras, that's not ideal because it's like you kind of want extras in case you die somewhere or you just want to play safer in some fights.
So this is the only fight in the run where you're quote-unquote expected to hit a YOLO blizzard. Uh, but there's some things oh. you can do where you don't have to hit the blizzard if you really want to, depending on if you walked in with Torrin or not. Let's see, Mr. A blizzard there, it looked like? Considering Tangela got so, a turn. So Pokey guy uh, went for the expect fight, which is what you oh. do when you don't want to hit the blizzard. As long as you're oh, in Torrent, right. yeah. You just like spec on the Tangela. It usually uses Ingrain, sometimes uses Giga Drain. Uh, but you almost never die to it unless you get crit. And the boost allows you to one shot Vileplume. A very safe strategy. Oh, Doomus doing a pretty spooky risk there, spooky fight with that Oof, sludge. Yeah. Oh, no! no! This is so unlucky. Crit there on like what I'm sure was the final turn of that setup, and then had a similar death on Surge. Hopefully, a luckier Koga fight this next time. Okay, entering Silphco. Okay, guy did do. Oh yeah, he did do the floor three pass. Floor three pass is uh, very nice if you can uh, get the movement down and get the reaction down. Yeah, that spinner sucks. Yeah, that spinner is. Uh, a little bit of a nightmare because of the, the multiple like three times. consecutive times. It's so lame. Yeah, and not only that, this is one of one of the few spinners in the game that, uh, like after it's loaded after the initial thirty-two frames, it can start flip-flopping every sixteen frames. So there's no safe movement other than a bag. Good. Oh, wait, Poke Guy not saving. Ooh. This could be a big uh, jump if something happens to go wrong, because this is the first fight where, like, you... Well, I mean, other than Tower Rival, but this is the first one where, like, you really stand a decent chance of dying. Ooh, no and double And you use act. a decent amount of X-Specs. Yeah, no double lock. Just gonna risk it. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, yeah, actually, the yeah. Walk. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, not bad. Actually, so, Poke Guy's good defense there really saved the day. Because it's possible if you just take all those wing attacks, you can get hit into quick attack range, which is still a move that that Pidgeot carries at this point. Uh, but luckily, the high HP, good defense, saving the day. And this is totally fine HP for the rest of the split, too. Good stuff, being able to carry, uh, carry Torrent. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, like, that can get difficult depending on, like, how much damage that Pidgeot decides to do to you. And you'll have to, like, if you... Sometimes you don't have Torrent for the Giovanni fight, or you have it then and then you level out sometime on Sabrina. So being able to set it all... Or set it up completely on just this fight is really good. Oh, Kadir. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of quick attack, 13, 13 HP is pretty, pretty close. It's fine, it's fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's okay. Okay, amazing. The quick attack range is 11 to high roll 13. 
Calculated. I think if I were in Kadir's shoes, though, I'd still want to potion before Giovanni. Just because, like, you, it, you're you still in a range to die if you see Mega Punch if you don't get the Kinga range. Or even fake out crit. Wait! Doomies! Oh. A wild encounter in Mansion. Almost shot. So if you had, you had the right call so long ago. <laughs> Maybe if it was Only green. it was shiny. Yeah. Pokeguy on Giovanni here, and Kadir getting very close to Giovanni, just to fight behind. Yeah, a fight of separation this late is really close, because well, once these runners get to the E4, depending on like the swings of the AI, like that's this is time that can still just easily be made up on like let's say Lorelei just by having a bad one compared to a good one. Right, right. Okay, I getting the range. That is thirteen Ooh. and sixteen again. Yeah, if as well as just like the fact that if any bad luck happens, just can make one racer pull ahead of over the other very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Like, really, as long as it you have kept it close, like up to this point, or like going into or near the E4, like you've basically done your job, because it's there's not many things you can do to some of the bad luck you see over the course of this run. You just have to keep going and play the best you can. Yeah, I'm shocked at how close this race has been, uh, even with all these like the different routes that both Pokeguy and Kadir did. Yeah, it is definitely pr very close. Alright, no one failing the Blaine quizzes. One hundred percent. Be uh, unfortunate. It's like the legendary Master Ball breakout. I remember as a kid, I went up to the machines on either side of Blaine just to see if they had other questions and see if, like, I wonder if I answer these questions, he just gives me the gym badge. <laughs> Can't say I've ever thought about that, but I have done some silly things in my game as a kid because of uh, believing stuff on the internet. <laughs> Such as, That's I how thought it you always could catch Rayquaza in Gen 5, so... This is funny. For Quaza and Gen 5. Yeah. What a time. Yeah, Things Kadir not getting punished for the range misses. Epic. I'm sorry, You're what was that? Very nice. Uh, just the things you believe as a kid. Oh, yeah. This is funny. <laughs> I I was also convinced at one point that like so this game has the E4 that they're all gonna fight and then if you play round two you know that there's the second round of the E4 where everyone's buffed up like after you catch all those Pokemon and do the post game. Another thing I believed as a kid was like if you beat the E4 a hundred times they'll level up again. So I was like <laughs> grinding grinding E4 attempts just so I could see different pokes or like different levels. Oh no. Oh no. I respect that innocence though. I really got close to my Pokemon. I, I still somehow actually, despite all of that grinding, I've never trained a Pokemon to level 100. That's still a milestone oh I've yet to actually hit. How did you hit. do that? Oh. Even I have gotten multiple Pokemon to level 100. It's literally the one thing that, like, even my friends who, like, I mean, 
Like, if you speedrun Pokemon, more than likely, you play Pokemon more than the rest of your friends. But, like, I have multiple friends who have all also had a Pokemon hit level 100, like, just off of training. That's the one thing they all hold over me. <laughs> one day you gotta do it. I mean, if I basically just do two Leaf Green Any% percent runs, I'm basically getting 50 levels on this Blastoise anywhere. Kappa. Hmm... You can say it with, like, literally any game. <laughs> Anyways, I see, uh, the Black Belt is here for Gadir. Hopefully it's- it's not that scary in Fire Leaf Green, is it? No. Uh, okay, cool. Definitely not, like, the first gen. Especially when you have Torrent like this. Uh, these Machokes just get one shot. In round two, you sometimes enter the gym at like full HP and you don't have Torrent. And in which case, the Machokes are, I believe, 14 and 16 ranges to one shot with Surf. That and also, I think you have to Surf a couple of Giovanni's pokes, like the, the Nido Queen and the Nido King, because they won't die without Torrent. But other than that, yeah. it's normally fine. Look, the guy about to fight Giovanni here. We got cool trainer Warren on Kadir's screen. Cool trainer. Did you- what- what was the trainer class you picked for yourself on, like, any Pokemon website or, like, any of those things? Oh, 100% Did last. you have a favorite? Last? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Gen 5 last is just good, I like it. That's true. That is a good one. I always like the Ace Trainer, although, like, some of their looks I didn't like. Like, I- I don't think I like the Ace Trainer looks in, like, uh, Diamond, Platinum, Pearl. I don't like it in Gen 3, they got green hair. Yeah, the green hair is a little iffy too. <laughs> Gen 5 it's good, but I like the blue hair, but uh... Green hair I do not vibe with. Darn, we should be picking in the gamer class, sorry. Not the- not the, <laughs> the gambler, the gamer. <laughs> See, Doomis is gonna go for the Yellow Blizzard. Ooh. Let's hope for the best. Hits it, very nice. Beautiful. That's how it's done. His name is not Juan Lee Ways. <laughs> is Juan Lee notorious for missing those? Uh, I... I think it was the first year we had the tournament. Kwanli missed, I think, all five of the blizzards. That is so sad. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's an all-timer. All right, Poke Guy setting up the uh, optimal repel route, supering here or super repelling here. Will he save also? Okay. Hopefully another good, or hopefully a good rival fight. I don't know if it's another good rival fight. So these, so these people got really trolled earlier. Yeah, it's same situation. Another ninety-three percent Blizzard. Uh, but luckily, like at this point, you're kind of like really high level, and Blastoise has decent. Uh, defensive stats. So, in some cases, a miss isn't the end of the world, but it's still not what you want to see. Right, right. Okay. Breath not being held anymore. Sigh of relief. 
Literally, that's all I do. I'm always sighing whenever I do this run. I'm like, ah, all right. I should get to the, another, to the next mega kick in five minutes. <laughs> Wait, Bo is fighting a Magnemite. Oh, wait, that's the Sylph scientist, the walker. That is very unfortunate. It's going to be a bit of a time loss. A level 26 wheezing. You can't get a You can't get a wheezing that early, right? Well, I don't know. There's cheater AI in this fight. Or, in, not in this fight, in this game. There's always cheater AI, cheater NPCs and trainers in the games. Absolutely. Okay, guy getting a pretty clean fight here. Wheezing Fair is 35. Enough. The scientist having a level 26 wheezing seems extremely sus. I think I know why he's on the side of Team Rocket. <laughs> no. Him, no. Actually, as a kid, I, it was always a trip talking to some of the people in Self Tower while it was still, like, inhabited by rockets. And then, like, they end up being, like, trainers, like, burglars or that weird scientist. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, I just <laughs> want to talk to the NPCs. <laughs> Instead, you're finding grave robbers left and right. Exactly. <laughs> Dimis is doing a full HP setup on Sylph Rival, which is very safe, uh, but it's going to be hard to get into Torrent, which is what you want. Not double X hacking either, so it'll be a true 93%. Well, it makes sense. You do want to try and catch up. It's the first one. All right, so Pokeguy did the optimal repel route, which uh, almost covers all of Victory Road, except for two steps at the end, which means that if Pokeguy makes any movement mistakes from here, it could end up being like pretty costly in terms of like just the time he'll lose if he gets an encounter. He will never make any movement mistakes. We'll see. <laughs> Victory, like, Victory Road, honestly, like, from a viewer perspective, it looks, like, relatively easy. I mean, like, compared to Rock Tunnel, like, this is a completely, like, cave. But you'd be surprised, like, it's... Like, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just, like, miss the Strength Rock, and then you bike three tiles past it, and you're like, oh, shit, that is an extra, like, eight, seven, eight tiles at the end. <laughs> no... Okay, guy, perfect up to this point. You're yeah, very, very nice. A deer hot on his tail, about to enter Victory Road. Did Kadir also do the better repel menu as well, or is was it more forgiving? I didn't notice. I'm okay. Yeah, he just started straight away talking to the boulder, which means he did the safer repel route. With that one, you okay. repel right before the water, I think, like, before you talk to whoever checks your Koga badge. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, you just have, you have a ton of extra steps to work with, so there's nothing to worry about. Good stuff. It looks like Pokeguy's gonna get out here without, a. Uh... Movement mistakes. Oh! Wow. He didn't get an encounter. Punished off of one mistake. OK, 
air saying Bop Mockwing because I predicted the encounter. <laughs> Just gives me the energy where it's like, they're mad because I'm right. <laughs> oh dear. So we got our first fight coming up uh, for the Elite Four from Pokeguy. I know Lorelei is a huge, like, uh, this fight can, you could, you could go behind pretty quickly if you're not careful. Um, especially with the hail, as far as I know, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of factors that can go into, like, just making this fight good or bad. The first aspect of which is definitely hail. You could maybe see hail from this dugong. It's like relatively likely that you do see it, but sometimes Aww. you don't. Ah, yeah, not not getting lucky there. But yeah, there's there's a chance that dugong just doesn't use it and it decides to like to attack you a bunch, and it definitely saves a decent amount of time depending on when you saw the hail because you take the damage every turn. But also, uh, if it ends up using hail like later then it carries on to the other pokes. It also hits her own Slowbro with Hail, if it ends up lasting that long. Yeah, it's just so slow. Weather effects, especially ones that damage you, are so, so slow to get. Yeah, absolutely. I not flinching on that bite is definitely not what Pokeguy wanted to see. Uh, this no. HP is... It can tank a Body Slam from Lapras, which is the next move you're going to see. Uh, but it would risk crit if Pokeguy decides not to heal here. It will protect. Protect is so cringe. You know, you could always just flinch the Lapras. That's true. I've heard crits are good, too. <laughs> Maybe when you get them. Oh yeah, so the the other like RNG heavy part about this fight is definitely the Lapras. Oh, Kadir's going for Oh no. Kadir went for a Halo strat that involved biting on the third turn. And I think it has actually gone not great, like, worst case scenario, possibly. Oh. Oh, no bite flinch. Oh, yeah. Oh, but the para. Mm. Yeah, Pokeguy taking the risk there, and Kadir unfortunately getting bite bite into heal range on Dugong. So losing a bit more time, and he saw hail on one of the bite turns, so also didn't get the hail list. No para, that's good. Oh right, yeah, Pokeguy's HP here is okay. It's uh a little bit high for guard spec strats, uh, possibly a little bit low for regular high HP strats. So I wonder if if he's gonna do any HP adjustment prior to the fight, or if he's just gonna try and do a full restore turn one, because guard spec strats are kind of risky. I mean, it's Pokeguy. I know he likes risks. The card spec Bruno is a risk you don't want to take. Uh... It's, it's so bad. Okay, a spec. Oh, wow. Could get the god fight. Never mind, not the god fight. But <laughs> it, it could be okay. Okay, yeah, that actually works out perfect. Wow. Very nice. I know that this fight is probably the next scary one of the Elite Four besides Lance. Yeah, Kadir is having the fight of his life against Lorelei. And not in a good oh, way. Oh no. No, and the freeze. Oh, 
percent. Anna's gonna be donating so much money off of status effects from this race. Oh no. Alright, Kadir through Lorelei as Poke Guy is finishing Bruno. So a, a bit of a difference there, but Poke Guy's about to walk into the most dangerous fight, the most likely to die on fight in all of the four. God. Just the lovely late four. They're uh, super great to fight against in any speedrun. Yeah, this this E4 has like so many problems, so many things that can go wrong. But I also think that's kind of like one of the cool things about this game. Like as a viewer, watching people fight the E4 is always so hype because of how many different possibilities and outcomes there are. Right, right. One double team there. Another double team. It was getting poisoned on oh, Full Trainer Warren, which is not great. I think he should live, though. Yeah. And we'll have Torrent. So that's nice. Yeah, Poke Guy just getting through on Agatha. No problem. Did he miss once, or just no, I hit, hit it the first time? Immediately, yeah. Yep. You do love to see it. Thank goodness, because there was some trolling he got earlier from the double teams on Surge, so... Yeah, definitely. Kadir with kind of low health, but should be alright, because... Uh, his defense IV is so good. Alright, Poke Guys out of the frying pan, but into the fire of Lance and Champ. <laughs> There's lots of things I could say about Lance, but I think I can just sum it up succinctly with just saying Blizz four to five times. I love 93%. Almost as much as I love those 95% from Tackle and stuff. Sounds slightly better than an 85 Fire Blast, some would say. Mmm, I don't know about that one. I trust Fire Blast. <laughs> Fire Blast is my friend. As long as I believe in Fire Blast, Fire Blast will believe in me. True. As soon as you start doubting it. Kadir, no. Kadir having something go wrong. Oh. Okay, Poke Guy went for the safe Lance fight, uh, which is a uh, bite into double Blizz on the Gyarados. Sometimes you can do double bite into one Blizz, uh, but that's a range. Uh, and it could be like good or bad depending on your IV. Yeah, it's probably honestly better to go for a safer start with being this far ahead. Like, yeah, there's... Don't have much to lose. Definitely safer for Gyarados. In the event that, like, the thing you don't want to happen, you miss a 93% happens, doing the other strategy has a benefit, at least, since you didn't use an extra Blizzard on Gyarados. You don't have to Elixir in fight. Because you just have the backup one that you could launch in case you miss. Uh, but with Poke right, Guy's fight, right. if he happens and miss at any point, then he has to waste an extra turn to get get another Blizzard. I see Dumas on his rival fight now. 
Yeah, I, I think that's all of his setup. All right, Poke Guy is very likely through Lance. Okay, yeah, no ancient power. Yeah, no trolling from that. I think yesterday did we see? I think there was a race already for sure that saw an ancient power boost. Oh, I would not know. I think I was kind of busy yesterday. All good. Who wants to watch Wanli anyway? Kappa. <laughs> oh, poor Juan Lee. But think about the content, you know, that he can produce. Absolutely. We actually should have had him as a third commentator. <laughs> but we, we were worried about a Kahlo takeover. What, is this not a Kahlo takeover right now? I mean, technically. My, my heart's still with Fire Red Leaf Green for now. That'll change eventually, I'm sure. Eventually. Anyways, Pokeguy on the champ here. Um... I don't know what's scary about this play, I'll be real, but I know, like, extreme speed crit is something that you don't want to see. So, yeah, there's e-speed crit that you have to worry about at the end. Whoa! Oh, no! Speaking wow. of crits... Yeah, wow. that's pretty unfortunate. Good thing uh, he had a champ save. But, yeah, so there's... Uh, you need to get to plus three on this fight. Unless you have Torrent. Uh, you need to hit two Blizzards over the course of the fight. So you m almost always want to X Accuracy as well. And you also need to do an X Speed. So that way you're faster than most of the pokes on Champ's team. Uh, and so in order to set up all those items, you set up a Guard Spec here. And you just hope that your high health makes Pidgeot want to Sand Attack you. But unfortunately, Pokeguy was seeing a lot of Aerial Aces on the previous fight, and it just led to a last turn crit. Yeah, very unfortunate. His Does fight's already looking gap. much better this time. Yeah, yeah, a lot of sand attacks here, which is good. Okay, so it looks like Pokeguy's gonna go for guard spec 2 strats. Yeah. So that's pretty safe. There's like uh, just doing that to make sure he can't get sand attack trolled still. He's to not get crit. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Small clinch there for the one in sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you see it happen once, it's always a worry that it'll happen again. Oh yeah. Even though it's only a one in sixteen. Okay, so Poke Guy. Wow, getting growth, not or just. That's ideal. That's what you want to see. Pokeguy was in Torrent, and I'm pretty sure plus three. So he could have done Bite Blizzard. Or no, I mean Bite Surf. And it would have killed Venusaur. Uh, wait, it was double x sack into growth? <laughs> Even better. Then I, I take back my statement. I, I was thinking that Pokeguy was trying to go for a 93% blizzard over the bite surf. But yeah, if that was the second X act, then understandable. Yeah. Alright, Kadir starting champ fight. And Dumas. Uh getting through victory road right now. Yeah, Dumas catching up quite nicely. A yeah, definitely. Here. Gyarados. Nope. All right, Poke guys, hoping for a flinch it would be ideal. Yeah. All right. I didn't get it, unfortunately. Yeah. So just gonna have to risk e speed crit here and really hoping it doesn't happen unless. Okay. Oh, safety. No, he's healing. Safety. 
safety for the win, and that's Please gonna be, care. yeah, it's gonna be a GG for Poke Guy. Very nice. Looks like it's gonna wrap up with a solid 209.46, I'm guessing. Oh no, never mind. That was way off. Look, I'll trust whatever you say, because I don't know. <laughs> it's in the four axes for sure. Oh wow, Kadir also seeing growth. The luck by these racers on everything but Mega Kick has been kinda crazy. <laughs> there were so many Mega Kick misses, it was so funny. Yeah, all of them. Apparently people thinking, uh, me saying it was quite funny to see all those Mega Kick misses. Look. Game's goofy, okay? That it is. <laughs> Alright, official GG's for Poke Guy. Yeah, major GG's. We'll see if we can get him in here for an interview. And it looks like Kadir is going to be through here too, because out of range of his speed crit. Yeah, definitely. It's a GG for Kadir. Yo. What's up, Poke Guy? Congrats. Thanks. Congrats. Uh, anything specific you want to talk about that happened during what? your run? Lots of Mega Kick misses. The search fight was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the Mega Kick misses were all over the place. Oh, yeah. Other than that, other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah the early start game was, was crazy. Super solid, yeah. Yep. Champ death was silly. Oh yeah, no, that was. Yeah. Crazy. Other than that, yeah, pretty smooth. Well, besides <laughs> the entire Mega Kick Miss section, because that was really bad. Well, I got a lot of status move misses too, so I guess that kind of evened it out. Yeah, yeah there seeing was so the much miss status after miss. It runs, yeah. Definitely always nice. Still quite the solid time you got there. Yep. Happy with it. I I think that should be pot one for the next round, if I'm not mistaken. I imagine so. We oh yeah. We should it be getting like Kadir in here too shortly. Too, yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, I noticed you were playing pretty safe. You did a bunch of double X acts. You saved before a lot of the E4 members. Yep. Uh, was that your plan always going in? Only if you uh, had the lead or just because round one? Just because round one and I had enough of a lead to just guarantee the win. Yeah, yeah that makes fair. Sense. Yeah, the double guard spec on champ definitely is always nice safety, and I yeah. understand that after getting the crit death the first time. Yeah. Did not want to die again. No, because that probably would have cost you. Yep. And I don't blame you as well for healing on Arcanine, just don't want to take any of that risk. Yep. I was getting through Lorelei, having to yellow through Confusion. Oh, I didn't even see that, oof. Good at least. Getting through.
Oh, Kadir went to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I was wondering the same thing. But I also understand that too. Oh yeah, no, it's like it. It can be tough sitting down for two hours with no break, really. Yeah, I like. It can even hit you like unexpectedly. Like, I remember never having a problem at all bathroom-wise, and then like even in the longer categories like round two. And then, like, a year later, all of a sudden, I was, like, barely making it through my round two runs. And, like, needing to go right after races. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Hello, Kadir! Hello, Kadir. <coughs> hello hey, everyone! GG's! Hey. Hello, Mark Green. Hello, Swift. Thanks for having me. Thank you for racing. racing. Yeah, so, um, I would say my race was nothing special, but also at the same time, it was not that outrageous. You were pretty close. Since, uh, you, were, you were quite apart. Yeah. It, was, it was very close. Yeah, you kept it competitive basically the entire way through. Like, and then Agatha. Yeah. Decided end pace, but still. Yeah, yeah I was I watching the. Uh, so. I was watching the race on a on a different uh, monitor, and yeah, my E4 was pretty pretty bad. Yeah, what Aww. what happened on Lorelei? Do you want to talk about that, or is there something else you want to talk about? Uh. Lorelei was, uh, I, I can't even remember. I don't, I don't remember. Is there something you uh, thought is worth mentioning? I think Mockwing thought you were going for a hailless strap, but then got hail. Oh yeah, that's, that was uh, it. So yeah, I went for the hailless strat uh, after the two turns, and then I hit Dugong into heal range. And then on Lapras, there was some shenanigans too. I got frozen by Ice Beam. Yes, oh I got God. paralyzed. Yeah. And uh, after that, but, uh, on Bruno, I was a little bit lucky, I guess, because I misplayed, but uh, didn't get punished for, for it. Oh, I didn't even catch that, well, but yeah, that's good. I had, uh, to what was on, I had to guard back on one point, but I used an X special instead, and uh, Onyx missed Rock Tomb. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh wow! And yeah, also a uh, bridge rival. You know, I love hitting kicks, but um, the game decided not to hit the kicks. Oh yeah, there was so and many. I was, yeah, I was out of. Wild. I was out of awakenings on bridge rival. Three awakenings. Oh, you had used and every had single that. one. Oh, yes. That's why you. That's why you went and grabbed those extra ones on the side. Yes, the there, there's an uh, there's an awakening uh, to the east of Dicklet's cave. Million. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I had to uh, pick that up because otherwise. And yeah, also uh, on Bridge Rival, uh, Bobso missed, le uh, missed Lead Seed, or I, or I awaited the attack, but Kick yeah, even... didn't want to hit. Yeah. Awful move. Everybody hates Magic. <laughs> True. I, I yeah. will say, it was amazing resourcefulness to get that Awakening. I didn't even know that thing was there. Yeah, that was definitely a super smart backup. Yeah, I know that from some ult main runs, you know, I've picked uh, up nearly every item in the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Hey, it's always cool when that knowledge actually, like, is turns out to be useful in other uh, yeah. cases. Yeah, for sure.
Oh, wait, having do this? Shop. Okay, risking 82 is... was definitely a move. <laughs> Especially for a mild. Speaking of 82. Yeah. <laughs> okay, definitely going for a risky play and okay. Dear. And yeah, GG's again to Pokeguy and Kadir. Thank you very much. Hopefully I left, but I'm sure you appreciated the GG's. Yeah, it was a very entertaining race to watch. Yeah, for sure. Uh, especially with just how close you two were, it was, it was fantastic. Almost nice HP there for Dumas, but... So close. not quite, I know. Okay, so this is actually risky for Doomus because this is range to die to Hyper Beam. Okay. Acknowledges it. Decides so not to risk it. Just want to finish it out. Yeah, only thing. Don't, don't do it. Okay. So yeah, Aerodactyl also carries Hyper Beam. A lot of Lance's team has Hyper Beam. Uh, and the range was 62 to 73 at this defense. See a save before champ as well. Uh, possibly. It's always cool to finish. It's true. It's true. Oh, All right there we go. There's the save. Just check in the ID. Make sure that uh, you got the right one. Have your right turtle. Flexing the money right in front of Lance. <laughs> Yeah, that lunch money you just stole from Lance. <laughs> you know, he tames dragons, but we get money from gamers. <laughs> Amazing Radita name. Seeing plenty of sands. That's exactly how you want this fight to go. Is that a speed up mm. I'm seeing on the other screen? Oh. <laughs> I was literally about to say. You know, I don't want to accuse anyone of anything. But <laughs> it did look bad. What a filthy cheater. Oh, no way. That text is amazing. I, we might have to <laughs> take the stream down. Oh, it was definitely worth. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let him, uh... Let him have it. He, he's just going to the daycare. He wants to take good care of his weenie. Can we get a flinch? We have flinch? Nice. nice! All 
All right, so Mile is still terrible. And this could still be a crit death, but those are extremely unlikely odds. There really is anything unlikely in Fire Red Leaf Green. Oh, didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So GG's to do me. Yeah, thanks again for the stream uh, and your commentary. I'm pretty sure it was Probably. amazing. Yeah, of course. And thank you for racing. It truly was an entertaining watch. Thank you very much. See you guys again, I hope, in round two. <laughs> See you. Yeah, okay, I'm sure you have a great shot of advancing. You advance. yeah. Have a nice evening, everyone. Thank you, you as well. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Doom is about to punch in a 225. I don't think it's going to be 25. No, I think it is. Be close. Oh, my bad. I meant 2525. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, yeah. what? what do you mean it's not going to be a 25? This looks like it's guaranteed to be a 25. I didn't realize you meant 25-25. Yeah, my bad. I'm, I'm just looking for the nice symmetry. <laughs> but yeah, GG's as well to Dumas. Uh, Dumas oh, unfortunately okay. can't join the call, yeah. But yeah, GG's well, GG. to Dumas. GG's to all the racers, yeah. Yeah, they all put on a fantastic race. It was super, super fun to watch. Um, I'm sure the next one will be just as entertaining. Let me take a look at when the next one is really quick. Um, next quick, someone race do exclamation be... points, schedule. Yeah, the next race will be on April 8th. It'll be at 1400, which is 2 p.m. EST. Um, so, and that will be between Cougar, Nerdy, and Verota. And there will also be... Oh wait, they're at the same time! Okay, there's two races that day. They're both at 2 p.m. EST. The first, the first one named is Hooker, Nerdy, and Verota, and then the second one is Math Genius, G Shark, and Odin. So you definitely want to be sure to watch those on both the PSR TV main channel here as well as PSR TV 2. Um, it has been very fun commentating. Thank you so much, Mockwing, for joining me. Yeah, it was very fun. Uh, uh, fun watching, fun commentating. Thank you, Swift for being a great commentary partner. No problem, and thank you as well for explaining some stuff. I know, like, you know, basic stuff about the game, but it always helps to have someone who knows the more intricate ins and outs. All good. I mean, you are a veteran Fire Red Leaf Green commentator. <laughs> Commentated one race, and now I'm a veteran. <laughs> Double the content, half the fun, oh no. <laughs> Okay, I think that'll do it for us. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to tune in on the 8th. <laughs>